Саша МКС, ответит ЦУПу Москвы, канал СГ-1, для переговоров. А, Саша Контрол Москвы, СГ-1, для This footage now uh, was uh, shot earlier this morning. You see in the foreground Valentina Tereshkova, who was the first woman to fly in space in 1963. A short time from now, just 23 minutes from now, So Yun Yi, at the age of 29, will become the youngest woman ever to fly in space. You see her parents uh, watching her suit up today in the Site-254 integration and assembly facility at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. The uh, crew uh, arrived uh, to begin their suit-up procedures about 1.30 central time uh, this morning. A large uh, crowd of well-wishers uh, on hand. Uh, following uh, the suit-up, uh, the crew uh, made its way in the traditional walk towards uh, their greeting uh, to uh, the head of the State Commission uh, before boarding uh, the bus under clear skies uh, behind uh, Sergei Volkov. Valerie Corzun, who was the Expedition 5 commander along with Peggy Whitson back in 2002. And you see final uh, well wishes and uh, greetings and waves uh, to the uh, assembled uh, media and officials uh, at, outside the Site-254 integration facility at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan as the crew then made its way onto the bus to head to the launch pad. As you watch uh, this footage uh, that uh, was fed uh, a short time ago from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan showing uh, the crew uh, boarding the bus to head to the launch pad. Uh, just one uh, issue uh, that is being monitored, uh, which is of no consequence at this point, uh, one of the zippers on the uh, launch and entry suit, the Sokol suit for Sergei Volkov, broke during uh, the final pressurization of the suit on board the Soyuz uh, TMA-12 this morning. Uh, the inner bladder uh, began bulging out of the area in which the zipper broke. However, uh, the leak checks uh, that were performed uh, are good, and the countdown proceeds uh, uneventfully now for launch in just 21 minutes. You see at the uh, launch pad now uh, the crew uh, in its uh, final farewell to the well-wishers as they began to ride the elevator up to the uh, crew portion uh, where they uh, climbed inside the very tiny Soyuz TMA-12 uh, to begin to strap in for final pre-launch checks and preparations for liftoff that is scheduled less than 21 minutes from now at 6.16 a.m. Central Time. Back inside uh, the Russian Mission Control Center in Korolev, outside Moscow, as uh, flight controllers uh, now are watching uh, this close-up view of the uh, Soyuz booster on the launch pad. Once again, uh, the Soyuz rocket standing 168 feet tall, weighing 680,000 pounds at launch, ready to lift off less than 20 minutes from now to carry the next residents to the International Space Station. Do you have questions now? Uh, April 12th, we plan uh, to conduct the handover. And in the nearest future today, tomorrow, we'll uplink the uh, radiogram on board with our recommendations on the handover. And for each day where handovers will be scheduled, we'll be planning the specifics for these activities. And also, when you Down at the Baikonur Cosmodrome, uh, a large contingent of uh, officials from the government of South Korea, along with the uh, Korean Aviation Research Institute, which was the sponsoring agency for the commercial agreement with the Russian Federal Space Agency that enabled uh, So Yun Yi to be uh, chosen uh, to fly in space uh, to the International Space Station for her nine days on board the complex. The NASA delegation down at the Baikonur Cosmodrome today, led by Phil Cleary, the Director of Human Spaceflight Operations in Russia. The Russian Federal Space Agency is uh, represented by Anatoly Permanov, the head of Roscosmos.
Ясно. Окей, как это? 14 числа. On the 14th, we'll start preparation for the descent. For this day, we will be doing the uh, suit thruster test. Uh, charging the Iridium telephone and also we plan more activities on the handover. So total in the desolation of the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan, three crew members atop the Soyuz TMA-12 poised for liftoff just 18 minutes from now to begin a two-day journey to rendezvous and dock to the International Space Station. There is Alexei Leonov who on March 18th, 1965, became the first human to walk in space, seated uh, with Valentina Tereshkova, the first woman to fly in space back in 1963. Legendary space official, space uh, icons and uh, Russian cosmonauts on hand at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan today for the launch of Soyuz TMA-12 and the Expedition 17 crew to the International Space Station. Uh, training session, and from that day we'll start uh, pre-packing the return hardware, or return cargo. Uh, it will be three hours located to you, and also the handover will continue. On this day, we wake up at 6 o'clock, and then Sleep time is 1400, and then another wake up at 1800, and sleep time 5 o'clock. Yeah, we plan to do the uh, return cargo loading and also urine for the ISS 17 crew commander. Uh, two hours of assistance. Also, for you is local switching unit disassembly and removal from uh, Soyuz. And for ISS 17 crew commander, he'll be uh, prepacking. He will be loading. Uh, the return cargo into Soyuz, and also, again, some more handover activities. Any questions? No. 18. Wake up at 16.30. Now just 16 minutes away from the launch of uh, the Expedition 17 crew here in the International Space Station Flight Control Room at the Johnson Space Center on the right side of your screen. Flight Director Ginger Carrick, uh, who uh, We'll be uh, discussing all of the activities throughout the course of the day uh, with the uh, Expedition 16 crew on board the complex. Uh, joined on console uh, on her right on the left side of your screen by astronaut Shannon Lucid, who herself uh, made history uh, with her uh, record uh, six-month stay aboard the Mir space station back in the 1990s. Uh, Lucid... Um, is talking directly to the crew uh, this morning on board the International Space Station as they continue on board the complex uh, to watch uh a feed that is being uplinked to them of uh, the launch preparations down in Baikonur. The uh, word uh, from the launch officials down in Kazakhstan is that uh, at the 15-minute mark, uh, everything is in readiness for an on-time liftoff at 6.16 a.m. Central Time, 5.16 p.m. Baikonur time. At the time of launch, the International Space Station will be traveling uh, over the uh, Pacific Ocean just to the west of Pitcairn Island.